Hi everyone, my name is uh, Fadi Chacher. I'm the Professor of Cardiovascular Genomics at Federation University of Australia. I'm also the Vice President of the International Society of Hypertension. Um, I would like to speak to you about the uh, ISH 2020 Global um, Guidelines, in particular the non-pharmacological treatment that we recommend in these new guidelines. Um, in, these, in, in, in these new guidelines, a lifestyle modification are actually recommended as a first line of our antihypertensive treatment uh, and for the prevention of hypertension. This is for patients with grade one hypertension. And for grade two and patients with hypertension mediated organ damage, we recommend uh, immediate drug treatment in addition to lifestyle modification. And why have we chosen lifestyle modification as a first line of treatment? Um, and our evidence comes from uh, lots of studies uh, over many years that show that healthy lifestyle choices can prevent or delay the onset of high blood pressure and can reduce uh, cardiovascular risk. In addition to this, uh, many studies show that modifications in lifestyle can actually enhance the effect of antihypertensive treatments. So what are, are these uh, guidelines that we are recommending? Uh, firstly, I'll start off by talking about diet. Um, uh, we're, the, our first recommendation is actually reduction in salt uh, when preparing food and at the table. And we're also recommending new to these guidelines that uh, uh, patients avoid or limit consumption of high salt foods. And this is uh, salt hidden in many processed foods uh, that they may consume. Secondly, we're recommending a diet rich in whole grains, fruits, vegetables, polyunsaturated fats, and dairy products. And such an example of diet is the DASH diet, which has been recently shown to prevent hypertension and reduce blood pressure. Um, in the guidelines, we're also recommending a, a reduction in foods high in sugar, saturated fats, and trans fat. But we're also recommending the increased intakes of vegetables, which are high in nitrates, uh, such vegetables are leafy green vegetables and beetroot. Uh, there's been many studies now showing that beetroot has beneficial effect in the reduction of uh, blood pressure. Um, other beneficial foods we're, we're recommending are those high in magnesium, calcium and potassium. Such uh, foods are avocados, nuts, seeds, uh, legumes and tofu. Um, in terms of diet, we're also recommending the moderate consumption of healthy drinks, and these healthy drinks can be coffee, green and black tea. Uh, there's evidence showing uh, herbal tea, such as hibiscus, is very beneficial uh, for the reduction of blood pressure. Um, other juices, such as pomegranate, beetroot, and cocoa for um, uh, chocolate lovers are also beneficial for blood pressure reduction. In, in, in 2020 guidelines, uh, we recommend moderate consumption of alcohol, and by this we mean uh, two units for men per day, uh, two uh, standard drinks for men per day, or 1.5 standard drinks uh, for women. And in addition to that, we're recommending the avoidance of binge drinking, which has been uh, shown to be uh, detrimental to blood pressure reduction. Um, furthermore, we uh, recommend weight control uh, and avoidance of obesity. Um, and, and for this, we follow uh, the recommended BMI uh, guidelines for different ethnicities. And if not, we recommend a waist to height ratio of four, less than 0.5 for all populations. And we're asking uh, these patients and health professionals to be careful with complementary alternative or traditional medicines where there's little or no evidence that they have any benefit or no reduction of blood pressure. In terms of lifestyle changes, uh, in, in these guidelines, we, we recommend smoking cessation for its uh, obvious benefits for many diseases. Um, also, we, in terms of exercise here, we're recommending the engagement of regular moderate intensity aerobic and resistant exercise new to these guidelines at 30 minutes at five to seven days per week or for those patients that are uh, time poor we're recommending a new form of high intensity interval training uh, which has also sh shown to be beneficial in the reduction of blood pressure furthermore we're uh, uh, we're recommending reduction in stress and introduction of mindfulness in daily routines 
And we believe these are areas that are, uh, there's uh, lots of emerging evidence that they're beneficial for blood pressure reduction. And lastly, we uh, recommend uh, a reduction of exposure to air pollution if possible and to cold temperatures. Thank you.